Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to another Sheetify CRM tutorial. Today, I'll be focusing on our new product called Sheetify Bookkeeping. This is our all-in-one dynamic and data-driven bookkeeping platform built with Google Sheets and integrated with your favorite Google apps. And today, I'll be focusing on the Google Sheets invoice generator that we created inside this template. Sheetify Bookkeeping allows you to stay on top of all your bookkeeping and accounting needs from managing all your assets and liabilities as well as income and expenses through to automatically generating invoices, managing accounting tasks, and visually understanding how your business's finances are performing. This is with our seven dynamic visual dashboards, allowing you to understand the health of your business as well as forecasting and achieving your financial goals. Now, just quickly before we dive in, if you're interested in learning more about our bookkeeping toolkit, what I'll do is add a full tutorial up above and down below in the description that you can check out. Now, once you arrive inside this Google Sheets template, simply navigate up to Sheetify, and under this menu, what you wanna do is navigate over to Set Up Sheetify Bookkeeping. For those that are using this template, you first need to set up authorization. This just takes a few clicks. Then to set up invoice generation, simply navigate up to Set Up Invoicing. Now what we've created inside Sheetify Bookkeeping is a way for you to generate invoices for your customers. This is using Google Docs, Google Forms, and Google Sheets. For example, let's generate a new invoice. To do that, simply navigate up to Set Up Sheetify Invoicing, and you'll see these notifications pop up down here. Essentially, Sheetify Bookkeeping is setting up the ability to generate invoices for your clients inside your account. Then you'll be taken back to Settings, and if we navigate across over to these settings here, you can see all this data has been generated and I'll cover this shortly. First, what we want to do is find the invoice template ID. To do that, simply head back to the folder that you have access to when you first got started with Sheetify Bookkeeping. And here we are inside this folder. Then what we want to do is click on this custom Sheetify invoice, navigate up to these three dots, and then click on make a copy. And then come down to show file location and simply open up that document. And that's going to open up this copy of the Sheetify invoice template. You can also change the name up here if you like. And you want to take some time to make changes to this invoice. Add your business name, business address, as well as add your website URL if you have one. Then all you need to do is navigate down the page to payment details and add your payment details as well as terms and conditions. All of this data here you want to leave as it is because we're going to automatically generate this information. Okay, so once you've made some small customizations to your business details, as well as payment details and terms and conditions, what we want to do is simply click on the URL and copy this code up here. So this is the code that we want to copy. Right click, click on copy, and then head back to Sheetify Bookkeeping. Then navigate over to Invoice Template ID and paste the link in here. And that's all we need to do. Now, if we come down here, you can see invoice folder URL. This is where you can find all your invoices. So once you generate a invoice, you can find them all in this folder. Then if we come down under invoice form link, this is the form that you can share with your customers to fill out their business details, or you can fill out this form yourself. For example, let's click on this form and then open up this Google form. Now, if you like, you can make changes to the look and style of this form. However, you wanna keep all of this information the same down here. Simply take the time to add the invoice number, invoice date, the due date, add the first name of the customer, last name, as well as the company name, street address, their phone number, email, and you can add a discount in here if you like, this is optional. And this is a dollar value, for example, you can add 50 for $50 off. Then down here we can add the units. We have unit one, description and price. So what is the unit? For example, I could add website package. The description could be, this is our e-commerce web design package, and then the price down here. Then these other units are optional. We have unit two, as well as the description and price, unit three, unit four, and unit five, which are all optional. Okay, so I'm going to take the time to quickly fill this out. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly added the new invoice number, invoice date, first name of the customer, last name, company name, street address, phone, email, the discount, unit one, description, and price. So this is a web design max package. This is the description and the price down here. We also have unit two, which is another service that we offer, Google Ads. This is the description, three months of Google Ads management, and that is $900. Okay, if I come down and click on submit, and just like that, in a few clicks, we generated a new invoice. To generate a new invoice, simply click on Submit Another Response. Let's head back to Sheetify Bookkeeping. 
And now if we navigate over to invoices folder URL and open up this folder, you can see we have the new invoice generated here. Let's go ahead and open up this document and you can see all this information has been automatically generated as well as the billing information, the unit names, which is Web Design Max, Google Ads, the description, as well as the unit prices. And then we have the discount value down here and the balance that is due. And then what we can do is simply navigate up to file and download this as a PDF if we like, or we can simply share this document with our customers. If you're using our Sheetify CRM, what you can do is share this document and add it to an email and send that email using our email marketing capabilities inside our Sheetify CRM. Pretty cool, right? Again, let's head back to our Sheetify bookkeeping. And soon what we're going to do is release more invoice templates that you have access to that you can simply add the ID in here and use different templates. We can also navigate down to form responses and you can see all your form responses over here. We can also navigate down here and change the name if we like, as well as hide this sheet. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Sheetify bookkeeping platform. Again, if you want to learn more about our Sheetify CRM or Sheetify bookkeeping, you can find all the relevant resources down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.